allow me to talk about the consequences of the Mexican Revolution. To start off, I will begin by focusing on the role of government banishment. After the Spanish government was expelled, a new government structure was formed. Under Spanish rule, it was difficult for Criollos to take high positions in the government and military. Only peninsulares who were originally born in Spain and migrated to the colonies were eligible to take the government and military positions. Porfirio Diaz was the one who established one of the world's longest dictatorships in both 1876 and 1884. He was known for introducing great developments for Mexico and thus improving the quality of life in the country. All classes, including men, women, and children, contributed to the fight for freedom from Diaz. This included a number of rebellions across the nation, a state religion, and military officers. Those who helped with the rebellion were awarded with promotions and jobs in the growing national bureaucracy. However, there were groups of people who were against Diaz. For instance, Francisco Maduro, an aristocratic but democratically leaning reformer, ran against him. After the provisions were instituted and were not enforced, Plutarco Elias Calles decreased clerical power. Calles was president of Mexico in the early 1900s. He is known for his oppression of Catholics that eventually led to Cristo War. This was a civil war between Catholic rebels and the government. Under this provision, also known as the Calles Law, the 1917 Mexican Constitution was re-established. The regulation, particularly Article 19, greatly annoyed the Catholic Church. This article basically ordered the compulsory registration of the clergy, as it allowed the government to hand over churches. Also, the Roman Catholic Church lost their power because the association between the social classes of uniting was ceased after the revolution came to an end. Then, the Catholic Church took a stand against the Mexican government. The political dissension created trouble for all Mexicans. This led to violence where thousands of Christos began an armed rebellion. The Mexican government and the Catholic Church engaged in a bloody Christo war, which lasted for a three-year period. This is how the Catholic Church lost its power. Lastly, the revolution brought the Partido Revolucionario Institucionalizado into power. This revolutionary party was also known as a political party that helped to preserve the presidency from the beginning of the revolution. At the same time, the party succeeded in getting rid of Porfirio Diaz, who resigned as president in 1911 and then fled to exile in France. Afterwards, no government ruled for longer than six years in office. However, the same political party was in power the whole time. This was because Diaz's conservative regime grew unpopular due to corruption. During the Mexican Revolution, Partido fell from the power and had imprisoned his electoral rival. This eventually led Vincent Fox of the PAN, Partido de Acción Nacional, which is a national action party, to be elected as a president in 2000. Thank you for listening. These were all the important consequences of the Mexican Revolution.